Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My next topic <coughs> is commands and prohibitions. Awamir wa nawahi. I have earlier mentioned that the language of the Quran uh, is different uh, to a statutory text in the sense that it is not confined to the delivery of commands and prohibitions and their immediate consequences. Uh, that is in the Quran also espoused with a moral appeal uh, that may consist of uh, encouragement or warning, uh, allusion to the benefit or the harm of a conduct, sometimes uh, punishment, uh, promise of reward and, uh, and threat with, of a punishment. And this makes the Quranic language a little more complex to analyze and to evaluate. Uh, the typical form of uh, a command in the linguistic sense is the imperative mood. In Arabic, for example, if'al is to do this, is hap to go. These are the commands, typical uh, linguistic forms of command. But in the Quran, we find that a simple past is sometimes used to deliver a command. Or sometimes a present participle is used to deliver a command. Like, kutiba alaykum usiyam. Uh, fasting has been prescribed upon you. And this delivers a command. Uh, similarly, uh, anyone who observes the moon, uh, 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 then let him fast. This is uh, in, in, in uh, uh, linguistic terms, it is a present participle, but this is a kind of a diversity of language you find in the Quran. Also, the values, the juridical values that are derived from these linguistic forms uh, vary. Um, <coughs> uh, and uh, sometimes uh, the uh, uh, a command may be, or a prohibition may be, uh, delivered in entirely different uh, uh, tone of language. For example, um, a moral condemnation attached to a certain conduct. Uh, there, it is no virtue to approach the, the houses through the rear. You must enter the house through the front door, the houses of people. لَيْسَ الْبِرَّ أَن تَأْتُوا الْبُيُوتَ مِنْ زُهُورِهَا in Surah 2, verse 185. Uh, sometimes uh, uh, some statement is made and then it is uh, reinforced by the promise of uh, reward or threat of a punishment. Like uh, the verse of inheritance. Uh, Surah 4, Ayah 13, is expl explains the allotment of shares. Then, say, those who observe it, they will merit a reward, and those who do not observe it will be liable to punishment. Uh, these are the kind of uh, <coughs> uh, specifications of the language of the Quran. First, I begin with uh, commands. Commands is a command or amr is defined as a verbal demand to do something issued uh, from a position of superiority to one who is inferior. This is different from supplication or dua, which is from a position of inferiority to one who is superior, or from request or iltimas, which is between uh, people of equivalent uh, status. Um, <clears throat> uh, a command uh, can engender, give rise to three types of juridical values. Uh, and I can, uh, uh, it can establish an obligation or 
or something which is merely recommendable or even that which is only permissible wajib mandub mubah and then the question arises what is the primary meaning of a command and what is the secondary uh, some have maintained the position that uh, command uh, theoretically is in is a homonym that partakes in all these values and can establish something permissible something obligatory or something recommendable others have uh, only maintained that command can can convey two meanings uh, obligation or recommendation um, but I yet another opinion has it that uh, uh, the lowest uh, uh, value point that a command can deliver is one of permissibility uh, the Jumhur that is the majority of ulama maintain that when a command is uh, not attended by surrounding uh, indications uh, uh, absolute in the sense of an absolute command it uh, conveys an obligation or wujub but if uh, this position may be changed uh, by reference to attending indications for example a command may be reduced to a mere permissibility if there are indications that would suggest that like in the Quran Surah 7 verse 31 Kulu washrabu eat and drink uh, but do not go into excess Kulu literally linguistically is a command form imperative but it cannot be it is male permissibility simply because eating and drinking are the necessities of life it cannot take a command as such so it is only permissibility um, a command may also convey uh, what is uh, recommendable in surah 2 verse 282 uh, when you extend a loan to someone reduce it into writing is atadayantum bidainin ila ajalin musamman faktubuhu so uh, documentation in transaction is recommendable because people forget it may give rise conflict may arise it is recommendable why we say it is recommendable the Zwahiri school maintain no it is obligatory uh, because the text later follows on to say if some of you entrust others uh, then let the trustee deliver his trust for in amina badukum badan fal yu'addil lazi tumina amanata so here the text reduces the rigor of his earlier provision if some of you have trust over others you may in other words not document um, uh, the same kind of example can be given with regard to witnesses uh, etc uh, the Jumhur um, um, and some other positions the Zwahiris have given different interpretations um, <clears throat> a command even uh, can imply a threat like in Surah 41 verse 40 do what you want to do if you don't listen and this is kind of a threat um, or it can convey um, humiliation uh, taste the torture O mighty honorable in a certain part of the Quran uh, taste the torture zuku azab al harib this is uh, occurring in the linguistic form of command but of course it's uh, the, the, what it conveys is a sense of uh, um, reprimand um, <clears throat> the primary meaning of command according to the Hanafis is obligation 
uh, and that we maintain unless there are indications that we depart from that to a different position. And what is uh, a command after immediately following a prohibition? What is the value of this if a command follows a prohibition? Here again, the Hanafis maintain that uh, uh, a command is a command uh, uh, whether it's preceded by prohibition or anything else. We still maintain that uh, the primary meaning of command is an obligation. Uh, but uh, <coughs> uh, the position uh, is also another view is that a command following a prohibition conveys permissibility only. Um, like uh, in the Quran when you come out of the state of ihram in the Hajj then you may hunt uh, now um, the state of ihram was a prohibition you were not allowed to go hunting once you have come out of this two prohibition fastwadu, you may hunt does it convey what? It only conveys permissibility. Um, another question arises whether a command uh, uh, requires a single instance of compliance or does it require repetition? Uh, the majority of ulama maintain that there are no objective answers to this question. We look at the indications and in surrounding clues and circumstances. Uh, the minimum uh, meaning of a command is requires a single instance of compliance. But if a command is espoused with a condition, then uh, each time that condition materializes, uh, the command must be observed. Uh, like uh, in Kuntum Junuban Fatwaharu, Surah 5, verse 6, if you are impure, then take an ablution. So, wa in Kuntum, if you are, this condition, each time you are impure, then you must uh, take uh, uh, a bathing or ablution. Akimis Salat Ali Dulukishans, perform the Salat at the time of the decline of the sun. Uh, so each time the time of salat or prayer arises, uh, comes, then uh, the command falls due. Another question arising with regard to the understanding of commands is whether it requires immediate performance or a delayed performance is also acceptable. Once again, um, the reference is made to surrounding indications um, and it is only by reference to other indications we can answer this question. But uh, the commandant or one who issues a command can specify, uh, go to, uh, uh, to such and such a place now or go tomorrow. Of course, these are uh, acceptable and there is no need to analyze about uh, uh, whether it is uh, immediate or late or, or delayed but uh, <coughs> uh, indications circumstances will tell us if someone is thirsty and ask someone to give him as his servant water obviously this is to immediate requires immediate compliance even if there are no such words uttered um, Sometimes the flexibility is available with regard to performance. Uh, the performance of prayer, five prayers, for example, is within a certain segment of time. Uh, within those segments of time, whether three hours, four hours, more or less, any time is good. Um, at other times, uh, the flexibility is, is very wide. The performance, for example, uh, of uh, kafarat. Kafarat is that expiations or self-inflicted penalties. If someone uh, 
breaks his oath, he gives a kafara or an expiation any time during the lifetime of a person uh, that com manner of compliance is acceptable. Um, another question arises whether the opposite of a command uh, amounts to a prohibition. Uh, uh, now the majority of the schools answer this uh, in, in, into the affirmative. Yes, the opposite of a command is a prohibition. Uh, whether it is a you know, uh, single instance of compliance or more than that, but uh, if you someone, if you ask someone to move, uh, then he is prohibited from standing still or staying still. Uh, that is a, a simple kind of the opposite of a command is a prohibition. But some activities may be more com complex or compound. If uh, you ask someone to stand, is he prohibited from a number of other positions like sitting, crouching, lying down, uh, all of these? amount to the opposite of that command, some disagreement arises. Uh, some maintain that only one of these different positions can be the correct opposite of the command. Um, Al-Ghazali, his teacher Al-Juwaini, Ibn the Maliki jurist Ibn Hajib in the Mu'tazila school, maintain the opposite. Say the opposite of a command is not a prohibition because we don't exactly know what is involved. Some commands are comp comp compound and involve a variety of situations. Some Hanafis and Shafis maintain that only one meaning of the opposite of a command can be said to be the correct opposite. And we don't know about the others. Um, and then <coughs> um, there is a third view saying that yes, the opposite of a command um, is the prohibition and the opposite activity is prohibited but it only with regard to commands that, uh, that definitely de convey an obligation. Uh, we don't know about commands that convey recommendation or permissibility. Um, then uh, a prohibition or uh, nahya, the definition of this is a prohibition is a word or words uh, which demand the avoidance of something addressed from a position of superiority to one who is inferior. Um, and again, in the Arabic language, uh, linguistically, it is uh, the negative command, which is the typical form of a prohibition. La taf'al, do not do. This is a typical prohibition. La taqtulun nafs allati. Uh, do not slay life that God has made sacrosanct. In Surah 6, 1, 1, verse 1. Five, one. Like a prohibition, other linguistic forms are used in the Quran to deliver, uh, like a command, to deliver a prohibition. Uh, like uh, a simple statement, Hurrimat alaykumul maitat, prohibited uh, uh, to you as the consumption of dead carcass in Surah 5, verse 3. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a statement. Uh, sometimes a present participle is used to deliver a prohibition. وَيَنْهَا عَنِ الْفَحْشَاءِ And he has prohibited um, lawlessness and uh, evil. 16, uh, uh, Surah 16, verse 90. Uh, another form of prohibition is in the Quran the denial of permissibility. Fala tahillu lahu min bad. This is not permissible after. Uh, 
in Surah 2, verse 2, 30. Um, uh, the husband, uh, the, the wife, uh, uh, this is uh, concerning divorce. If the husband has divorced the wife, uh, he may not uh, marry uh, her again unless there is um, another intervening marriage. And this is falata hillu, denial of prohibition. And this is a, a denial of permissibility, rather, uh, amounts to is the manner of the Quranic language that delivers a prohibition. Then again, uh, <clears throat> uh, sometimes the Quran uses words in the form of a command, but actually it conveys prohibitions. Like at the time of Friday prayer, Wazarul uh, Bay abandoned trading during the Friday Friday prayer time. Abandon is a command linguistically, but it conveys, of course, a prohibition. Wajtanibu um, zur Wajtanibu avoid. This is a command, but it devil, uh, delivers a prohibition. Avoid something, you are prohibited from it. And uh, the juridical uh, value points that are derived from this expression also vary. Uh, one opinion is that a, command, that a prohibition conveys tahrim, a total ban. Uh, others say that it can be a total ban or it may be a makru or reprehensible, something that makes, conveys um, an abomination or karahiya. Uh, prohibition can convey guidance or irshad, like in Surah 5, verse 101, do not ask too many questions. Uh, that la tasaru an ashya'in. It can convey <coughs> um, a reprimand uh, reprimand, for example, uh, uh, don't do this, don't follow my orders and you will see. Um, uh, sometimes a prohibition can deliver uh, supplication or dua in Surah 2, verse 2 is 6, Rabbana la tu akhizna in nasina. O oh Allah, do not take us to task if we forget. Do not take us as a prohibition, but it delivers supplication. So which one of these is the primary meaning of a command prohibition and which is the secondary? Uh, majority maintains that the primary is tahrim, uh, that is total ban. But these other uh, abomination is a secondary meaning. Sometimes some say that uh, Prohibition is also in the nature of a homonym that combines different meanings. Uh, the literal meaning of a prohibition uh, or of a command may be abandoned in favor of its metaphorical meaning should there be uh, indications uh, that would suggest uh, that course. Um, then I have another topic, uh, the values of injunctions, how we evaluate. Um, the prohibition, for example, when something is prohibited, uh, it cannot give rise to any rights or any claim. Uh, committing adultery is prohibited. It cannot give rise, for example, to the right of parenthood or to uh, a lawful uh, uh, tie of kinship. Similarly, a sale of a dead carcass, because it is prohibited, it cannot transfer ownership. Uh, um, <clears throat> sometimes a prohibition may not be 
from uh, related to the intrinsic nature of conduct, but due to an external circumstance like fasting during in the, on the day of the Eid of Ramadan. Uh, this is um, fasting is not prohibited, but it is uh, void batil on that occasion, according to the Shafi, in fasid um, voidable according to the Hanafi. Uh, for example, according to the Hanafi, uh, sale at the time of Friday prayer, it is uh, one degree below batil, null and void. It is, it is uh, facet. In other words, that sale actually does transfer ownership, but there is something wrong about it and uh, it should be dissolved. At, uh, in an early opportunity. But the Shafi's do not uh, recognize this distinction between uh, void and voidable, batil and fasid. A question of uh, 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 immediate compliance or uh, delayed compliance uh, with regard to uh, prohibition, uh, for example, the majority maintain that prohibition is uh, always required continuous avoidance. This is the nature of prohibition. When you read in the Quran that uh, do not squander the property of the orphans, uh, and you must do that all the times, unless there is a conditional uh, prohibition, uh, then that may change the nature of the language. Um, then commands and prohibition may be explicit or they may be implicit. If they are explicit and are in no need of interpretation, uh, then compliance with them partakes in the nature of ibadah for a believer it is part of uh, that uh, uh, and a worship matter, a devotional aspect. Another question is, are we supposed to follow the commands and prohibition literally or do we understand it uh, in light of uh, maslaha or hikmah and wisdom? Um, for example, in the hadith, uh, in every 40 sheep, there is one sheep to be given in zakat. Are we to give this literally or are we, can we say that the monetary value of one is also acceptable? Here we do not apply it literally, but we uh, accept a reasonable meaning. In the text, Fasau uh, ila zikrillah on the Friday prayer, abandon sale and rush to the remembrance of Allah. If you are literal about it, then you should run. But that is not the purpose. The purpose is to convey a certain emphasis. Uh, when it is a command or prohibition is implicit, uh, it may uh, it may be raised to the level of sarih or explicit if there is a hadith to support that meaning. Um, sometimes an expression in the Quran may occur in the, by way of a praise or condemnation and we cannot really attach any value to it. Like you read, uh, God does not love the prodigals. La yuhibbul musrifin in Surah 7 verse 31. What does it convey? Uh, we don't know exactly now. Uh, the last question is whether the means to a command or a prohibition is also covered by the ruling that applies to the original command or prohibition. The general answer to that, yes, that the means to a command becomes wajib and the means to prohibition becomes haram. There is a, a legal maxim uh, that what, if a wajib cannot be completed without doing something else, then uh, that also becomes a wajib. Um, 
uh, unless of course that something else is ruled by separate rules in the text then uh, our scenario is different if the Quran requires consultation then forming an assembly or there is a parliament or a committee that becomes part of the same objective finally a mujtahid uh, alim of sharia uh, must uh, uh, know the language of the quran some a great deal of uh, what we read in the injunctions of quran and sunnah are not explicit the meaning has to be drawn from the jinn through the light of uh, of indications in the general knowledge and it's important to also have that the general knowledge and uh, be well informed of the maqasid and objectives of sharia thank you <laughs>